well, let's measure the zero first, because if, if it's zero, it should be zero. Water is water. It's all personal preference. Zero water, the five stage advanced filtration. So now you're wondering why did I get this? Um, I use a Brita filter right now. I don't have any problems with Brita. There's nothing wrong with my water. You know, matter of fact, I have a whole house filter that removes five microns of sediment. So I have a sediment filter with two other whole house filters. I try to show a picture. That's not for drinking water. That is just to treat the water so it doesn't uh, scale up my piping. This is what this filter does. It uh, gives you a zero total dissolved solids. They give you the, the, uh, the meter, the TDS meter. And so uh, TDS is total dissolved solids. It basically removes most of the electrolytes. And so there's some debate on whether if having a TDS of zero is really good for you. Um, you, you, you need those electrolytes. You need the, the minerals and the, the quote unquote impurities, the quote unquote impurities. You need that. Uh, if you just drink straight water, water will, from my research just online, uh, it, it may strip away the minerals from your body if you drink pure H2O, like straight, straight up H2O. But why did I get this? Well, there's a couple reasons why I got this. So um, I, I got this uh, to have an alternate source of purification, okay, other than Brita, uh, just in case something happens with the water supply. If I want something that will give me a TDS of zero, this is it. A total dissolved solid of zero, this is it. Um, it could reduce lead. It actually says here on the, on the box, certified to reduce lead, PFOA and PFOS. What this could be good for is a couple things I, I plan on doing is camping, boondocking, SUV, uh, stealth camping, um, RV camping, okay, traveling. That's why I got the seven cup. And the reason I got two, I got one, two, I wanted to get two just in case there's issues with supply chain. I can just use this and use it in my Korig so it doesn't scale up the piping inside. I could use this for cooking or making dough, a, a better purified water when I'm making dough, pizza dough, baking, making bread, kolaches, also, again, cooking, boiling, steaming, making soup. Uh, once you make soup, all the minerals are extracted from whatever you're boiling anyway into the soup, so you'll get your minerals that way. I, I believe it's a better way of maybe cooking, making the food taste better, and maybe um, boiling at a shorter time period or steaming at a shorter time period versus using tap water. Will I drink from this? Okay, that's the other question you're probably asking. This is for drinking, right? I will probably drink from this as well, but not as much, I'm thinking. It's going to depend. We'll, we'll see. Because water has no taste, no smell. And so if you have zero dissolved solids in there, which are essentially electrolytes for the most part, um, metals, quote-unquote metals, calcium, um, salt. I don't know if salt. Maybe salts. Uh, anything that con conducts uh, conductivity, this is what this is measuring, conductivity. It doesn't really measure solids per se. It's measuring the conductivity, the minerals, uh, the metals, uh, iron, magnesium, zinc, manganese, uh, stuff your body actually needs, minerals, you know, that you get from spring water. So that's what this is for, all right? So now that I talked about this a little bit, so you get an idea. I did a lot of research. I was wondering whether this was even worth buying, and I've decided it, it is worth buying because, again, you can use it in uh, your appliances, uh, your iron, if you're using a steaming iron. Um, you can use it <laughs> for your car. If you add water to your radiator, you probably don't want those metals and minerals in your water. They'll probably rust, um, rust your internal engine, internal components in the engine. So stuff like that. So there is some use for it. Uh, if you really want, you know, purified water, this is probably the one of the easiest way other than dis distillation. So that's why I got it. 
and I wanted a small one for traveling just in case I go somewhere and I don't know the quality of the water or I, I, I might even have to you know get untreated water then use it in here so this could be used for untreated water in that case yes I would probably drink out of it so anyways let's get down to it let's open it up let's open it up I don't know if I need to use this or not uh, let me try to figure out how to open it without destroying the package it's nicely packaged look at the box real quick zero dissolved solids that's what zero water is known for zero dissolved solids although 153 having a, a TDS of 153 is not bad it depends on what's in the water and you don't know what it is by the meter itself so you have to keep that in mind um, what gives water its taste is the minerals and the TD basically the TDS that's in there the electrolytes um, and you need the electrolytes because without it you probably won't be able to function very well so uh, the TDS is not the end-all and be-all of how pure your water is but uh, it, it does help in determining what could be in your water all right I just want to make that clear because I did a lot of research into it how do you open this thing I'm trying to figure out how to open this I think I figured it out I think you have to pull this there we go <laughs> Uh, they they packaged it well. I'll give them that much. So they're all right. So there you go. Zero dissolved solids. Okay, you get this with probably some coupons. There you go. Two dollar off coupons. And as far as the filtration system, um, it probably is more than your Brita filter. Most likely, it is more than your Brita, Brita filter. They give you the uh, TDS uh, meter when it reaches. Uh, six they want you to replace the filter so here you go you get this okay that opens that way and okay well I figured that out okay <laughs> all right there you go <laughs> that was easy okay let's uh let's just uh, unravel the box a little bit more how do I take this out okay all right it's a little little sticky piece right here just keeps that in there and I don't know if there's anything else in here we'll find out and no that's pretty much the box right there okay it's pretty much the box okay we put the box away we'll go put the box away all right so here's your uh, TDS tester all right and I'll be testing I will be testing the water my tap water uh, keep in mind it's already filtered uh, with the whole house filter so we'll test that so here here it is uh, let's see here on off let's see if it works there it is yeah it does work there you go and that's that's what you're looking at there's two prongs in there they probably conduct the, measure the conductivity of the water giving you a TDS number and again, that's all this thing measures is the conducti conductivity of the water. It doesn't really measure any solids per se. Okay, you got to remember that. So here you go. That's that. Okay. All right. So uh, here is the package. All right. Just want to take a quick look on it. Okay. So I guess I will use this. I will be using this, I guess. Uh, I like to be very gentle. I don't have any plans on returning this by the way I will probably most likely have a Amazon link if you're interested in this so um, there you go all right this is again this is a seven cup you probably want to rinse this whoa look at this jeez look at this put this out like that man this filter is big this filter is big uh see there's a there's a picture here's the filter jeez it is big there you go tell you the water uh, I have in, I live in Texas so they're saying that the tap water TDS is 301 to 400 see that right there 300 to 1 to 400 I live in Texas that might be true there's a lot of sediment in the water then again I have a sediment filter 
and a whole house filtration system. Now, to treat the water for drinking, again, to treat the water for the piping, the faucets, my tankless water heater. So it'll be interesting to see what I actually get it, um, what, what the TDS is. I haven't changed my uh, sediment filter in like um, four months. I change it out every six months. So, and again, it says right here, change your filter when the meter reads 006 for the product to continue to perform as represented. Okay, I probably will go beyond that because I think your the water I've been drinking from the Brita filter is probably in the hundreds, most likely. Uh, I'm still alive. Your body needs electrolytes, okay? So you don't have to constantly replace this. I am impressed with the filtration system that Zero Water uses. It's like a activated carbon, some other filter, some beads that probably take out the, uh, the uh, minerals and some other filter, micro, a little finer filter. So I could see this as a great boondocking where you, we may have untreated water source because it does take out lead. It takes out the metals. So it, it's pretty good for that. Uh, anyways, so there it is. Okay. I got two of these. Remember, I bought two. So um, another tip um, that I saw online when I was doing my research is people use two pitchers. One, once this gets to a 0 0.06 or once the filter gets to a TDS of 0 0.006, what they do is they use that filtration system, that water pitcher to initially pour in from the tap. And then they pour this 0 0006 water, TDS of 0 0006 water into a second uh, zero filter to get zero kind of milking the filter. But again, um, I think if you go beyond 006, you're going to be okay. You'll, you'll live. The tap water that comes out from your municipal water system, it's probably highly regulated and most likely is safe. I should rinse it and clean it out. I will, but I just want to get this on camera. I think you get it from the bottom. You probably really want to rinse this before you start using it. All right, so let's, let's get this screwed on. And there is a seal. You can see that blue seal. Get it on tight. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on pretty good. It's on pretty good. And uh, yeah, the filter is really heavy. Okay, water just comes out of here. All right, I guess this just pops in there like that. You just pop it open, pour your water in. Once you get that done, uh, TDS, okay. All right, let's get to uh, measuring some TDS, shall we? Okay, so I got three cups here, all right? So if I remember, this is straight from my tap, but again, I have a whole house filtration system. So I have a sediment filter and then goes through these other two large things. Uh, again, I'll try to throw in a picture. I could try to get like tap tap water, but I have to unscrew the the sediment filter off and then it's, it's a lot of work. So we'll, I'm not going to be drinking that water. Okay. So I'm not going to do it. Maybe in another video, I'll do that. I'll test the, the true tap water, but this is filtered water through the house filtration system. So I want to measure that. This is uh, Brita water. So after, so this water would go into a Brita filter, which this is the water for that. And this is the water that I drink. And it's basically just what activated carbon or something like that for the Brita, Brita filter. And then this is zero water. All right. So this water would go into this filter. And then I poured this water from this pitcher into here. So this is zero water. So all, all of these are basically treated for the whole house fil filtration system that I have. Okay. So let's, let's measure, well, let's measure the zero first, because if, if it's zero, it should be zero. And if I put my uh, TDS meter into these things, it maybe it won't, you know, affect the, uh, the measurement. So here we go. Let's put it in here. It's supposed to be zero. Let's read it. It might have some contamination, 
it went up to like one and two and then it settled back down after I put it back in. It went up to one, two, and then went back down to zero. This is the Brita filter. Let's see what this comes out to be. All right. So let's turn it off and on again. Okay. And, uh, okay, it's going up. It's reading. It's reading. I gotta hold it up this way. It's reading 300. Do you see that? 309. 309. I should probably bring the cup up. Okay, let me do the, the, tea, the zero water again. This is zero water. I'm going to try to bring it up and uh, I'll compare it. I'll try to compare color. Okay, so here it is. Let's just do this again. Okay, there it is. It's reading two. There may be some contamination. There could be contamination because I rinsed it and then I poured water in it and I didn't wipe all the uh, water in the uh, in the pitcher, but that's not bad too. There probably is contaminated. It's probably contaminated, but I'll accept that as a zero. Okay. All right. So this one is straight tap water. So that was 300 something. Let's see what this is. This is straight tap water. All right. Straight tap water. 370. Not much of a difference, is there? Yeah, it says 370, 370, not much of a difference. Straight tap water, Brita water, Brita water, okay. 340, 340, okay. I'm just shaking it. I'm shaking the meter dry. All right. So there's probably some contamination, but not bad. Um, I, again, this water is probably somewhat contaminated. Yeah. It's at two. I'll, I'll accept it as zero because I didn't, uh, when I rinsed the pitcher, I didn't dry the inside. I still, I think it's safe enough to drink. All right. So we did, we made that comparison. All right. Great. And maybe I contaminated the zero water. All right, so I am um, very satisfied that this is zero TDS, okay? Um, I'm going to look at the color. Let's look at the color, okay? That's the color of this one, all right? That's the color of this one. I know there's some wording here. It's my Bud Light UFC cup, but I wanted a glass cup, okay? And there's a color of this one. Are you able to see any difference in the color? I, uh, I'll be honest with you. I can't see any difference in the color. All right. So let, let me do a taste. All right. Let's do a taste. Let me try the zero water. I know it, it, it's 0 0.002 TDS. All right. My fault. It's contaminated, but let's just, let's just go with it. All right. I'm going to taste this. Supposedly water has no taste or smell. I'm going to smell it first. Okay. I don't smell anything. I don't smell anything. Now I'm going to drink it. I'm swishing it in my mouth. Yeah. It really has no taste. It, uh, it's, I would compare it to like distilled water. I would compare this to like distilled water. I've drinking distilled water. You know, when your body needs water, distilled water will work. Zero water will work. All right, now let's go to the Brita. All right, this is 340, TDS of 340. But again, it's measuring electrolytes, calcium. Maybe there's some chlorine. Maybe there's some fluoride. Probably is. That's how it gets treated from your water system. But you also need those minerals. All right, I'm smelling the water. I can't, I can't really taste... I can't really smell the difference. No, I don't smell anything different. I'm tasting it now. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Okay, okay. I can taste, 
I can definitely taste the minerals in this. Um, after drinking zero water and tasting this water, the Brita filter, it does taste. I could taste, I could taste a, I could almost taste, I guess if I had to compare it there, I could taste the sediment. I could taste the, uh, probably a little bit of the rust in there and maybe the, I could definitely taste the minerals. I don't really taste the chlorine or the fluoride or whatever chemicals they put in there for, for disinfecting the water or treating the water so it's drinkable. But there is a taste to it. Okay. I, I, I can taste it. Let me drink the zero water one more time. Clear my palate. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, it, uh, I would compare this to like distilled water. It's very similar to distilled water. Has a, um, it's almost when I drink this, it's almost like drinking nothing. That's how I could, that's what I would compare this to. This one, you can definitely taste the minerals. And uh, I can I can taste the sediment. Now this one is just out of the tap, but again, all of these have been treated through my whole house filtration system. And again, my 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 filtration system is not meant for drinking. It's not improved the drinking quality. It's improved the the, the water so it doesn't uh, scale up the piping, doesn't clog the piping. All right. So all right. So here we go. I'm smelling this. Okay, this one for some reason. I smell a little bit of the chlorine. I, I smell something in there and it smells like chlorine. Okay. All right. I'm drinking it. Okay. So this is the tap water. Again, all of them have been treated through my whole house filter. I smell the chlorine with the tap water. All right. I can also, I can also feel and taste the, the minerals and sediment. Uh, the Brita filter, I don't smell the chlorine. I don't smell the odor, but I definitely taste the minerals. Okay. Zero water. I'm going to drink it again and smell it again. I don't smell anything. I don't smell. I mean, I smell the glass. I, I feel like when I smell it, I, I, I feel like I, I'm smelling the glass and then the taste. It, it really tastes like distilled water. It almost tastes like nothing. Um, okay. All right. So there... That's my opinion. That's my test. All right. Um, if, go ahead and try for yourself. Uh, I do have a link to Amazon for this. Um, I'll have a link for the Brita filter if you're interested in the Brita filter. Uh, what do I think? I think water is water. It's all personal preference. But I, I think I'll be cooking. I will be cooking. I'll be cooking, I'll be using coffee, making coffee, uh, I'll be making soup, uh, ramen. I'm going to use this water, okay? Um, I, I think for cooking and, again, using it for your steamer, this is just has a taste and consistency and no smell like distilled water. I would, I would call it distilled water. Very similar. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use this for. And if, of course I could drink it, I may use it to, to make a drink, you know, your Gatorade drink and everything. So if you, if you're adding something to this, I think it's very safe to drink. I think you're, they're all safe to drink. This one, um, I'll, I'll still use my Brita filter because, uh, yeah, you still need those minerals. You still need those electrolytes. And, uh, this feels like it stays in my stomach. I don't know. How, it's kind of weird. When I'm drinking the zero water, it, it's very similar to distilled water. And it tastes like it just goes, it feels like it goes right through me. When I drink this water, I think because of the minerals, uh, the total dissolved solids that are in there, 
it seems like it's in my stomach and it's slowly being digested. It feels like it's being digested into my stomach. This one, um, it's drinkable. It's the tap water. I could still smell. Yeah, I could still smell the chlorine. I could definitely smell the water. There's an odor to this tap water, even though I do have a filter for the whole house. But again, that filter is just for the plumbing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. If you find any value in this, please like, uh, share the video, comment. Also consider joining membership. I have memberships. Consider joining. Um, leave a comment and tell me know what if you have one of these or whatever filter system you have, let me know what you think. All right. Till next time. Bye.